Good morning. Uh, so yeah, just finished the video there last night. Stayed up a little bit later than I should have, but uh, yeah, it's all done. Hope you guys enjoy. It's a little video on what I kind of use to cook in the trailer, what I use to cook with, what my main meals are. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to make a strawberry rhubarb pie, or not pie, but uh, crisp in my trailer using my Dutch oven here. I'm going to attempt to try to make that. Uh, it is gonna be a gluten-free one. And yeah, we'll see how this works out. So the flour I'm gonna be using is going to be uh, Red Mill, it's an all-purpose uh, baking flour. I'm gonna use brown sugar. Uh, what else do we got here? We're also going to be uh, baking powder, uh, strawberries, uh, rhubarb's been sitting in some sugar already, but if I need to add any more sugar, it will be brown. I do enjoy having brown sugar a little more. And uh, I think that's about it. Oh, and I might add some spelt flour into it. So it's uh, one and a half cups of flour. Uh, I actually ran out of uh, the red mill, so I'm just adding some of this Robin Hood stuff. Uh, the only difference with this one is it's made with uh, rice flour instead of more of a potato type flour. And it's also got XM gum in it already. Next in the dry mixture is oats, and that's one and one fourth cup. cups of brown sugar uh, and then we got one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and then the last ingredient will be uh, some melted butter that'll go in with this as well and that'll be the crumble mixture And then uh, the last ingredient for it was the butter. Um, I actually have to use a whole bar of this thing. I uh, wasn't expecting that. But yeah, one whole thing of butter, and that's for the crumble mixture. So it'll be uh, a layer of the crumble, uh, then the strawberry rhubarb mixture, and then another layer of the crumble on top. Uh, for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to use my uh, MSR pocket rocket here just to melt up this butter. And then uh, when we go to cook it in the uh, Dutch oven there, I'm actually going to use the big stove here. I was actually going to cook this outside on uh, the BioLite stove, but um, it's raining out quite a bit. I mean, I do got the awning, but I also don't want to be standing out there right now.
yeah, melting that in the in this stove does not take too long at all. But yeah, cooking in my trailer, like I don't use uh, this guy too often. When I want to kind of get things cooked up real fast, uh, yeah, I will use it. But for the most part, the main main cooking in my trailer is done with uh, the two burner stove that's included with the trailer. Uh, it's just a suburban stove, just a generic stove that they put in most trailers. All right, so yeah, this is the suburban stove that's included with the trailer. It's what I mainly use to cook with. Um, but yeah, that's that uh, rhubarb mixture. Now this is where I might have messed up because the rhubarb is not supposed to be in with the uh, the cornstarch, water, and sugar. Um, that mixture was just supposed to be put on top of the strawberries and rhubarbs that would have been sliced up inside of the crumble but uh, I guess we'll see how it turns out I guess if anything the uh, rhubarb will just turn out a little bit more mushier um, but I'm also not going to be cooking this properly using the Dutch oven you're supposed to kind of surround it with wood and, or coals or something to uh, kind of keep that heat a little bit more consistent so I'm going to actually be cooking it on the stove here and the heat's going to be coming from the bottom uh, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it turns out. So the last thing I added in was some vanilla, but uh, yeah, you just want to keep stirring it pretty constantly until uh, it turns into quite clear. Uh, I did use brown sugar, so it will have a little bit of a brown tint to it. But yeah, that's the consistency we're kind of looking for. So yeah, it's all put together. Uh, I'll see how it turns out, but it is on the stove right now. Uh, normally I wouldn't cook so something like that all the time, but uh, I have been experimenting a little bit more, uh, especially with using the BioLite stove. Uh, but for the most part, I'll normally cook with my Suburban stove, and then I uh, use my BioLite as more of like a secondary type cooking utensil. But uh, and then also have the the Pocket Rocket, but uh, yeah, I don't use that one too often. It's a uh, more for backpacking trips and whatnot. Uh, but yeah. Um, we'll see how that turns out and I'll probably let you guys know by Friday how it all turns out, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to eat that today and I think for dinner I'm going to be cooking burgers, most likely. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah. Alright guys, uh, yeah, just made it back home from a uh, night shift there. Um, I make pizzas as a second job at a brewery. Uh, so pizza and beer uh, an awesome second job but yeah been doing that for oh probably eight months now uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video of me making some strawberry rhubarb crisp there uh, the reason why that kind of came to be is my parents had some uh, rhubarb uh, around and uh, they had just harvested it so I was like yeah I'll take a little bit so Decided to make that. I found the easiest recipe was just to make a crisp rather than a pie. A pie involves a little bit more work uh, around just kind of getting a more of a crust going where a crisp is just kind of almost like a sandwich. You got the, the crisp itself and then you got the, the rhubarb uh, strawberry mixture and then a uh, crisp on top of that just to kind of all sandwich it together. But yeah, it turned out awesome. Uh, I wasn't quite sure on how it would work, especially in the Dutch oven and only having the heat source coming from the bottom. Um, I would love to end up trying it again using the BioLite stove. But yeah, I've done done so many different meals inside the trailer trailer here. I use, uh, use the stove inside the trailer quite a bit. And then again, I've been using that BioLite stove almost religiously during the week. I'll use it maybe once or twice a week. Yeah, I guess the, like the main thing uh, with this whole video is just to kind of show you guys what I kind of use to uh, cook with. But uh, like main meals that I normally cook in the trailer uh, are normally... Sorry, the dog is shaking the trailer right now. Rover, are you done yet? Done yet? 
He's almost there. There we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, normally like I'll cook something super simple, like I, lots of mac and cheese, um, uh, burgers, salads, uh, anything that's fairly easy to make. Something that's kind of like one pot uh, meals because washing dishes is awful. Uh, especially right with right now because uh, water is quite scarce around here. I live in a little bit more of a desert so there isn't any running water around me. Alright again if you guys uh, enjoyed the video just subscribe, comment, like the channel. Um, and I'll also leave a description just down below if you guys want uh, for the recipe for what I used and then um, I'll also leave links to my other videos that also include things that I've cooked um, I've cooked some bannock in I believe it was my last video I did and also pizza with my girlfriend um, pizza turned out awesome uh, we used the BioLite stove and then the bannock uh, also turned out pretty good too what else have I done? Uh, I think there was one other video I did as well. But yeah, I'll leave the links down below if you guys want to check those videos out. And yeah, again, just subscribe to the channel. It, uh, every little bit helps.